Hi and welcome back to Wicked Wands Tarot. My name is Carmen and today we're going to do a reading for Virgo. Let's call in spirit with some wind chime tech. And I hope you're having a wonderful day so far, Virgo. Let's see. I think we're going to go with the Kipper deck to start. It's not normally my go-to. I really love these cards, but, um, you know, I love the tarot just a little bit more. <laughs> All right, what do we have for Virgo, please? For hidden energy, we have house coming out. So Virgo, there's something here about your home life. This would not apply to your career. And we have child coming out. So with child coming out, Virgo, that makes me feel like we've got a situation here that literally pertains to um, like custody, especially since we had adjudication just come out. Uh, but it could also be somebody who's acting immaturely, right? But either way, there's a court influence or something official regarding a child or childlike behavior. And then Virgo, we have sudden wealth. So, hmm, Virgo, with the lovers and imprisonment, I'm getting that for some of you, there's a situation, like a romantic situation, that is limiting you. You have a very particular brilliance that needs to be shared with the world, and somebody is blocking your sunlight, <laughs> your limelight. So, be cautious as far as the relationships around you, um, because hmm, I just heard not your main female, so there's maybe a plot twist in store for you when it comes to um, your love life. Hmm. We're gonna go with the tarot familiars. All right, what else do we have for Virgo today, please? For Hidden Energy, we have the Two of Cups. Virgo, this is definitely a reading about love. <laughs> All right, what else do we have for Virgo, please? In fact, for some of you, this is a previous relationship that was as serious as a marriage or was actually a marriage with the four of wands here. And then we also have the ace of pentacles and the seven of wands. So especially since it looks like we might have a divorce situation here because we're talking about sudden wealth, adjudication, child, I feel like literally we have like alimony or child support, something being worked out here through the courts pertaining to a child and finances. And then with the Seven of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles, it looks like you may have been frustrated, Virgo, by how long it took to have a situation get to the point where it felt like you were getting something back, but that is going to happen. Um, the right timing is something that can be a little bit frustrating for all of us, but the best thing to do is to be patient and have faith that the things that are supposed to happen will happen. What else do we have for Virgo, please? So we have the King of Pentacles and the Six of Swords. The King of Pentacles is clarifying the sudden wealth here, which makes a lot of sense to me because, of course, First of all, Virgo, pentacles are all about earth signs, right? So this could literally uh, be you or this could be your person, but we have somebody here who is being seen with a little bit maybe more respect. Um, somebody here I think has inherited money or is going to have a better financial situation, um, like significantly. 
And the Six of Swords here is clarifying the lovers, telling you that there's a situation that is improving, um, a romantic situation that's improving. I really get the feeling that somebody was unhappy in a relationship and didn't know how to fix that situation, has since left that and now there's somebody that they'd always had a thing for where the timing wasn't right now the timing is coming around or it will shortly and it might be causing somebody to not really be able to sleep very well at night because um maybe someone's really concerned with like gossip or like how people would view a situation with the Knight of Swords, it looks like somebody is going to be bringing in truth on a situation that will make this, like that's the catalyst to something moving from rough waters to smoother waters. This Six of Swords is predicated upon somebody bringing in truth here. And that solves this sleeplessness as well, that feeling stuck. Here we have the Magician. This is clarifying the Seven of Wands. And with this, I really get the feeling that it's like Spirit is saying, you had within yourself everything that you needed all along, but, <laughs> but at the right time, things are extra great for you to cash in, right? Like it's like um, selling stocks at the right moment, right? <laughs> All right, we have the Eight of Swords. So the person here who is receiving this blessing is coming out of a period of feeling like they were neglected or bound. It really feels like a marriage that was um, unhealthy. We have the High Priestess and the Chariot. The High Priestess is all about intuition. But I think what this is actually about, we've got this paired with the Chariot, right? So I think Spirit is telling you, if you identify with this King of Pentacles or you are the significant other that this king of pentacles would like to move towards or start something with it's really important to move in silence when you have sudden wealth you become a target for people right so spirit is saying yeah you can make moves with the chariot here but we don't want you to be telling everybody the high priestess can be a very mysterious and secretive person and that's who you need to be right now. Tell me more about Virgo, please. And then we have the King of Cups and the Two of Wands. The King of Cups is clarifying the Nine of Swords, so it looks like emotions are what's keeping this person up at night pertaining to which direction how someone should do something so this truth that comes in <laughs> sorry guys <laughs> this truth that comes in is going to be kind of like a tower moment like someone's going to feel like they have to like kind of reassess the situation and like then choose a decision or sorry choose a direction but there's an importance placed on balancing intuition with logic here not going s exclusively with logic and then we have the seven of cups indicating that you can expect a little bit of emotional confusion but um you know how to handle that so what does that mean? You might cause other people emotional confusion when you decide to move in silence. You might be a person that likes to post everything on Facebook and then all of a sudden you stop doing that. Um, good. <laughs> but with the Seven of Cups, you may also experience your own emotional 
confusion, but that's when it's critical for you to be listening to your intuition. All right, I think they're saying that's all the messages we have out of this deck. I'm gonna grab just a couple more here for you, Virgo, and then we'll call it a day. What else do we have for Virgo, please? What else do we have for Virgo? What else do we have for Virgo, please? So we have the Nine of Pentacles and the King of Cups. So there's emotion surrounding you. There might be admirers. You might have admiration for others. But the guidance here from Spirit is that you learn to really feel comfortable loving yourself and feeling independent and on your own before you embark on anything new because there's an imbalance here when it comes to your healing there's time required for you to spend on your own and that'll give you time to work on a plan it'll plant a seed that'll bring back to you a very large blessing so this is a good thing for you to follow up on or follow through on i should say so I hope you found that helpful. Thank you for all the support and have a wonderful rest of your day.